California carnivores. I know I've done this video before, but we also know that we've made a lot of ping pals in the last year. And so some of you are probably uh, just going through your very first winter with your Mexican butterworts or pingwicula. We call them pings for short, but by any name, they're super lovely. They're one of my very favorite plants to grow here in the nursery. And I know because we sell so many that they're some of your favorites too. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, succulent phase that they go into as things start to slowly dry out in their native habitat. And that happens in the fall as the beginning of that process. And we get a lot of questions like, what, when should I stop watering my Mexican butterwort, or at least slow down the watering, I should say. And as you can see in all these, it's hard to give a definitive date answer because some are still growing, some are already disappearing, like this one here. Who is that? Oh, that's Lauiana fuchsia by Morning Says Chichi Katsunengo. And that little guy is already pretty darn succulent. But then right next door, we have this Morning Says A by Lauiana Red, and it's still in its big sticky mode. So I'm still growing them all together. If you'd want, it would be easier to get the more succulent ones apart. So if you saw these two were already drying out, you could take those aside, you know, and leave your other ones in the trays of water. So a good rule of thumb when you're growing these while they're in their sticky, actively um, hunting phase, if you will, spring through summer, is probably about like an inch of water. Lots of people shy away from overhead watering. I actually overhead water these all the time. I mostly just sprinkle them around this time of year. But if you're shy about that, you know, as they start to turn succulent, I'll stop keeping water in the trays for the most part. And you can see that mostly I have already. And then just keeping them uh, wet on top by sprinkling them as they um, slowly go down into their succulent rosettes. And by doing that, I can be pretty specific as I'm watering all these. So I know I'll water these a little bit more then I'll water those and just kind of sprinkle really quickly. If you want to keep using that tray method though, you could put like um, maybe like a half an inch of water in the bottom of the trays and then it will absorb, uh, the soil will absorb that like a sponge and some of it will get up to the top but you will see the tops dry out faster than the bottoms no matter what. So a little overhead sprinkling is a good idea. Um, how dry can you let them get? You know, we always get that question too. I know from experienced ping pals and new ping pals, you can let them get really dry, really dry. I mean, this one's already starting to shrink away from the pot. You can hear it's kind of, kind of crunchy sounding already. This one's already like even drier. Um, and you can just follow their lead too. That's the other thing I always tell people is follow their lead. You don't need to do anything special. You don't have to dry them out to let them know it's winter. They know it's winter just as easily as we do. Plants are actually um, more clever creatures than we give them credit. They're keeping track of the day length. They're keeping track of the temperature in a way. And so they can tell when it's cold. They can tell when the days are short. So can we, it's terrible. Uh, so you don't need to do anything special, but follow their lead. And as they make that succulent rosette, slowly dry them out. And this is gonna last uh, probably till like um, March or April of next year. And that's when you'll see some of them start to emerge. They're all gonna emerge at different times. Then you'll go back to keeping them in an inch or two of water all the time. Um, it's really not that hard. And the more years that go by, the easier you'll, the more comfortable you'll be with it. And you'll stop worrying about it probably a little tiny bit. Anyways, I hope that checked. I hope that helps so you can check in and see all of our uh, beautiful pinguicula growing here and what they're doing right now. So you can uh, line that up with theories and go, oh, they're normal. They're doing the right thing.